Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. For those of you who are new here, my name is Steph, and today is Vlogmas Day 6. Woo. Today is one of the sit-down days of Vlogmas, but today's Vlogmas video is going to be my holiday wish list slash gift guide video. We are going to go from crazy extravagant, a girl can dream, all the way down to super affordable. I have about 100 ideas for you guys. Everything will be linked to the best my abilities down in the description box below. And there will be some screenshots. So let's jump into the gift guide slash wish list. Okay. Let's start off in the category that I've given four dollar signs for. These are extravagant, luxurious, splurge worthy gifts. If this is your snack bracket and this is what you're getting every year, I am jelly. But if you are in the mood to splurge, treat yourself, or if you recently have decided this was the year to go big, here are some ideas for you. So obviously, number one, plane tickets love a good plane ticket, especially if you live somewhere cold like I do. A winter getaway is always a wonderful thing to get under the tree or just, you know, be bundled off to a private jet and then taken somewhere exotic. That sounds wonderful to me. Number two, concert tickets, in particular, Harry Styles concert tickets or Taylor Swift concert tickets. Rumor has it that those are going for more money than a Hermes Birkin. We don't love to see that, but concert tickets are a bit pricey right now. So if you are looking for that luxurious splurge-y sort of ticket, that's also an experience for everybody, concert tickets. Then I'm gonna go into some classic jewelry with the Val Van Cleef Alhambra bracelet, a Cartier Justin Clue bracelet, and anything kind of in those lines. They're super classic, but they're also right now very much seeing a resurgence in popularity, in particular the Van Cleef Alhambra. For a really long time, Van Cleef was like, uh, you have to know to know. And I feel like recently TikTok has really started to democratize luxury fashion and jewelry in particular, and really bringing these like, not so much silent luxury, but like, if you have like, if you know, you know, sort of luxury brands to the forefront. Now, obviously people are gonna be like, I have always known about these brands and good for you. But growing up in Ontario in the nineties, we were still struggling to get out of the eighties for a certain point. So different strokes, different folks. Okay, then obviously a classic is to get a new laptop, obviously like a MacBook Pro or an iMac, something in that realm. Another gift, an iPad, of course. I actually got one last year for Christmas. I combined a bunch of birthdays and Christmases all together and definitely splurged for an iPad and definitely worth it. One of my most used items, one of my most useful items and something that I reach for every single day. Definitely like computers, iPads, those sorts of things, especially if you're in school or working, have a lot of utility to them. So they're definitely good splurge gifts, but then they also are like good everyday gifts and you're gonna use them every day. You're gonna look at them every day and you're gonna look at the person who gave it to you every day and go, thank you so much for making my life better. Next, the very, very popular and very sold out, but there are some at Nordstrom as a, like my last look, the Totem Chain Stitch Jacket. This jacket is so popular right now with good reason. It is stunning. It is a more pricey jacket, which is why it's in the $4 sign category, but it's, a, it's very classic and it's a little bit trendy right now, but it's definitely something that in years to come, you can wear and get good use out of. And this is definitely something that I would love to have in my closet. The next item, the next two items are just shoes, but they're classic shoes. I think a pair of classic Louboutins, whether Pigalle's or Kate's, are always great gifts. Now, if you are uh, superstitious in the Chinese culture sort of way, you know that giving shoes as gifts is not always the vibe, but I know that not everybody shares those superstitions and giving a pair of red bottoms at Christmas is just so festive. 
in the shoe category, another pair of shoes that I have I have that I have on my wish list are the Dior slingbacks. They're so beautiful, so classic, and they're definitely unusual in terms of like not everybody would buy them, but if you do know that somebody in your life is eyeing them and you're looking for a splurgy gift, they do have a lot of wow factor. 10 out of 10 would recommend. The next is a Burberry trench coat. I love my Burberry trench coat. And if you're looking for, again, like another like everyday high utility sort of gift, a Burberry trench coat is great. It's a staple, it's evergreen, and it actually is just very, very practical. Next, I have the YSL Sherpa bag. I think that they're just so cute. And sometimes with gift giving, you don't always necessarily need or want to give somebody a super, a super practical gift. You're more looking for something fun, something that they're not gonna buy themselves. And maybe this Sherpa bag isn't, but I just put it in because it's so festive and I love the fuzziness for the winter season. Then I have two wish list items of mine, the Loewe puzzle bag and the Loewe QB anagram bag. Both of these are on here because I personally want them myself. Like I said, this is a gift guide slash wish, wish list, but I really love these two classic bags from Loewe. And recently Loewe has been like my designer du jour that I really enjoy, really like. They've been super popular recently, but they're still very much not like a main mainstream designer brand and i really like that and i really like their bags and i think they're just beautiful a little bit unusual but also serve a lot of utility the next is a suzanne callan tennis bracelet and a suzanne callan ring i just love her jewelry they're definitely splurgy items but especially if you are celebrating a big milestone like maybe in your relationship in your career in your life at the same time as christmas these are great because i always love jewelry to commemorate special occasions and she just really has such beautiful pieces in the theme of jewelry i love the tiffany t rings i would love a diamond ring and the matching bracelet so good definitely splurge items but like i said four dollar signs for this section then the canada goose jacket or a macage jacket just a really good high-end winter jacket especially if you live in a colder climate obviously a winter jacket can be very pricey and they make great gifts to give great gifts to receive and they do last forever again that's a high utility gift Finally, the new iPhone. I feel like this is such a cliche for like a splurge Christmas gift. And like, I know that kids used to get phones at Christmas, but if that's your jam or if that's what you want, now is a great time to ask for it because it definitely is up there in price. Okay, let's move down to three dollar signs. This is kind of like, it's not affordable, but it's not out of the thing. These are definitely high-end Christmas gifts, but yeah, depending on like where you're budgeting, maybe. Okay, so first thing, AirPod Max, obviously popular headphones. Everybody's wearing them right now. If you wanna jump on that train, I'm still undecided about these. These are actually something that I've like debated asking for for Christmas as like a Christmas birthday one, two, punch um but I, I don't know like i i want them but i don't i'm i know a lot of people want them which is why they're on here but i yeah me personally i i'm on the fence right now oh i'm sure you guys will end up knowing what i get for christmas but like yeah i don't know um okay next is an apple watch and airpods and an apple pencil we'll just put all the apple products honestly like you can't go wrong with Apple products. And especially if you're looking at some of those smaller accessories, they're not as expensive as like an iPad or a what or a iMac, but you're still, you know, filling those needs and maybe getting somebody like if they have older AirPods, you can get them new ones and it's a good upgrade and you know that they already like them and use them. And you also know that the products are always gonna integrate into the ecosystem of the person you're giving you know, collection if they already have a lot of Apple stuff. 
The next is the Dyson Airwrap, the much contested Dyson Airwrap. This could also be the dryer or the straightener, but Dyson hair products are honestly just really good and they do make really great kind of more high-end gifts. They're really luxe and you know, the person on the other side might not necessarily want to spend that money on themselves. So if you're looking for more of a treat, this is definitely a good item and a good suite of items to look at. The next is another jacket, the Aritzia Super Puff. Yeah, Kel Supris. Um, we are obviously a Canadian girly. I live in Toronto, so my personality is Aritzia being cold and Lululemon leggings. And obviously the Super Puff has to be included. I picked mine up during clientele and treated myself to one, but they do make really great gifts. And again, look a lot of things here. They're very trendy right now, very popular, and the person receiving them will of course be very excited and thrilled to open one. I also have, okay, you guys know I love Set Active, so putting a little plug in here for a Set Active set. They're not too, too expensive, but definitely if you are shopping like from Canada or like rest of world, the conversion to US dollars is not the most friendly, but set active, set active sets are really cute and they are also in a lot of really fun colors and shapes and you can kind of mix and match the pieces together for a universally flattering fit. And if the person in your life that you're giving is big into health, wellness, fitness, all of that sort of stuff. They're just like really great aesthetic workout sets and that that actually do their job. So love that, can't recommend them enough. I would also in that line say anything really from Lululemon. I particularly love like Wonder Trains, Aligns, etc. cetera. Um, with those, again, buying a pair of like Lululemon, Lululemon leggings, you can't really go wrong. Pretty much most people would enjoy them and they are very comfortable, very practical. They get the job done, lots of utility. Um, okay, we're on 29, we're, we're getting there. Sk the Skims Soft Lounge Dress. Guys, I have one. So comfortable, so flattering. Again, they are on a little bit of the pricier side. So gift giving, you you know, can give this to somebody who wouldn't necessarily buy it for themselves, but they're just, they're so comfortable and they're just, they're so good. They just do something, I don't know. Uh, I also have designer sunglasses as number 30. This is like really broad because obviously like everybody's definition of designer sunglasses is different. Some people are like Ray-Bans is where it starts. Some people are like strictly high-end luxury brands, whatever you're looking at, but a nice pair of sunglasses is a really good gift. And also if you already kind of know what the person likes in terms of sunglasses, it's really quite easy to pick and they're just easy and everybody needs eye protection. So, yeah. Okay, at number 31, we've got a Patagonia fleece. It's up here because it's definitely a little bit more on the pricey side, but fleeces are again, very popular. They're coming back that like 90s style fleece is so popular again and patagonia is more expensive but with patagonia there is the model of environmental activism i guess no environmentally they're environmentally conscious and you know that your purchases are helping to fight climate change and also they're just really lovely and really good quality and that's definitely something i have on my own personal list uh, two items that I already have, but I know make fabulous gifts are the Burberry scarf and the Acne Studio scarves. They are definitely on the higher end, but they are such good quality and such amazing wardrobe staples that if you know, for instance, like if you have kind of a younger person in your life who is starting to build their wardrobe out, giving them one good scarf is gonna serve them really well and it makes just a beautiful gift. Or if you're trying to impress your mother-in-law, something like that, you know, dropping a couple extra doll hairs on a Burberry scarf can definitely add some wow factor and help butter them up to your cause. I also have the Loewe basket toe. The reason it's not in the top price is it's about $700 Canadian, I think last I checked. So. It's a splurge, 
but it's not as expensive as like an iPad or something like that. Definitely still up there, but this is a really fun gift, especially if you have somebody who is maybe traveling a lot for like their bachelorette, their wedding, warm weather destination person. These are just like really fun, really cute, especially the little ones. So it would make a kind of fun and interesting gift under the tree and definitely a little bit more unusual. Then perfume, always good. If you just restock somebody's nice perfume, 10 out of 10 vibes. And then any spa treatment packages and subscriptions. I know here in Toronto, you can buy like a membership to one of the like spas, I guess. And they it's like a pack of like 10 um, facials and or massages, whatever you kind of want. And there's also a bunch of like wellness clubs now that you can buy like a membership pass for. You can just gift those and in that sort of thought process like Barry's boot camp class packs or like F45 class packs, Spinco class packs, like all of those, those make really great gifts. If you know the person on the other side is an avid frequenter of those places because they are quite expensive and you're giving them something that you know for sure that they're gonna love and use anyways. Okay. Number 37, golf clubs. We're just in our golf villain era still, even though it's November, no, December. Um, golf clubs are great because one, really high-end golf clubs can actually be quite expensive, but there's a lot of just like off the rack, really good golf clubs that you can get that the person can later go on and customize to suit their needs. Like if they wanna change the grip or if they wanna change the shaft, that sort of thing. But if you get them, for instance, just like a nice, good quality, like Titleist, tailor-made ping, like golf club, then, you know, you can't really go wrong. Um, the only thing I would say to not get people are putters because people are really, really particular. I mean, people are particular with all of their golf clubs, but like for putters are for some reason, like so, so particular, but yeah, golf clubs, especially if you know the person is a big golf fan or just getting into golf, like, you know, one or two sides of the spectrum. If they're new, they probably don't have a lot of club varieties and this makes a really great gift to help them build up their set. But then also, if you know that there's a club that somebody has been eyeing for a while, you can just pick it up and gift it to them under the tree. Okay. The next is uh, Pearl Studs. I love pearl studs. They come in so many different sizes and they're really easy and just like such a classic piece. I know that some people are like, oh my God, like my grandma. Uh, and it's like, okay, well, it's not for you. But if like your vibe is Blair Waldorf, pearl studs, kind of it. And plus they're just like a lovely, easy gift and they're classic and you can never go wrong with just having them in your collection. They just, they're so beautiful and so classic. Okay, out of left field at number 39, we have a Juicy Couture tracksuit. Uh, guys, it's included in here for the fun Y2K throwback and the pseudo novelty of it, but they're also a little bit pricey. But if you have a older aunt, not that much older, but if you have like friends or family members who like really grew up in the 90s and early 2000s, and like lived through peak Y2K. This is potentially a very fun throwback. I mean, it may, it may, it may be some, it may be some trauma for the for the person receiving. Make, make sure they're okay. <laughs> but it's just like a really fun, nostalgic gift for them, and they would really enjoy it. And it's kind of like a throwback to like the memes of the time. Okay, we've got some home stuff because these are things that are actually on my wish list. A KitchenAid, a Vitamix, Le Creuset anything, Dyson vacuum. You can't go wrong, especially if you have people in your life who are like just moving out from home, living alone for the first time, need to build out their kitchens, need to build out their home appliances. These ones in particular are, you know, not super, super expensive, but definitely if you are a like young adult, a young working professional, Spending like 
$500 on a pot may not be your jam right at this moment. So if you are looking for something that's like a little bit more luxe, but very practical, you know, those are some good ideas. The next one is a wine subscription. If you have a wine aficionado or a wine snob in your life, we all have them. Um, a wine subscription is a great a little treat for them. It's the gift that keeps on giving. Every month they would get new wine to try and it helps them discover new vintages that they may like. And it just is kind of an easy no-brainer. You don't have to pick the wine. You just have to pick the subscription, send, and it's done. The next thing are Vela sunglasses. If you're looking for more affordable sunglass options, I particularly love my Vela ones. They really give like fun, chic, trendy, but they're not too, too expensive. So they're a really great, happy medium. The next thing, number 45, is a Kindle. I know that I'm getting this for Christmas from my best friend, but Kindles are great gifts. I got one from same said best friend. She's upgrading my Kindle uh, many a year, many years ago now, and it's been one of my most used items and it's so practical and the person in your life, if they're a big reader and they're still buying paperbacks, just get them a Kindle. And if they go, I like the feeling of real pages that we all do, but going on vacation and being able to bring 20 books with you and it only takes up like one tiny little thing. Oh yeah, they'll be sold very quickly. Okay, number 46, base luggage or away luggage. Just some of those like more premium luggage brands. Always beautiful, great gifts and you know, you probably know somebody in your life who's still carrying around a carpet bag. So it's time to upgrade them. It's time to, it's time to put them on something new. Okay, uh, 47, I already mentioned this workout class pack. 48, a GoPro, just super fun. 49 in that same thing, a point and shoot vlogging camera, DSLR, but just sending somebody or giving somebody some really fun camera equipment or tech if they're into that sort of stuff, definitely always a great gift. And if you're into camera equipment and that sort of stuff, there's always some new accessory or camera or something that you are interested in or looking to buy. It's all about the kit and the tools. That's what I've been told. Okay, number 50 is a Switch um, a gaming system. Very fun, Animal Crossing, such a vibe. I mean, so many people have them already, but I was late to that game, so there might be others who are late to that game and want that, so it makes a good gift. Would recommend. A gel manicure set, not super expensive, but very useful and if you know somebody who loves to get their nails done but maybe no longer has the time or doesn't want to go and sit in a nail oh my gosh what are they called nail parlor oh you know what i mean nail salon <laughs> then it's a great gift to give and you know you get really nice good quality ones and kit them out with a lot of different nail polishes and some fun like chrome powders or decals, something like that, and get them kind of started and get them going down. I also have on this list at number 52, Hells at Anything. Elsa Hosk's line label, Dress Me In It. It's effectively like higher end Matilda Jurf, like Jurf Avenue stuff. Jurf Avenue stuff is also a great gift, but like, for a little bit of a higher dollar value item, Helsa anything, I would die. So beautiful, so good, love. And then at 53, we have a Thera gun for the in pain people in your life. I don't think I need any further explanation except for you have that one person in your life who is always complaining about being sore, never stretches after they work out, doesn't go get massages, it doesn't go to Cairo, doesn't go to physio, doesn't go to stretching places, but they're like, oh, like I'm so sore, get them a Theragun. Save yourself the ear bleeding of hearing them complain about being sore all the time, even though they don't do anything to help themselves and get them a Theragun. You're welcome.
That's what you should say to them. So attacked. Erin <laughs> is here while I'm filming this and she's like, I feel so attacked. And I'm like, yeah, it's because you don't stretch, you run like half marathons three times a week. And you're like, I'm so sore. I'm gonna get you a Theragun for Christmas. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, now the like next part of our list, the next 50 items, 50-ish items are $2 signs and $1 signs. It's just a combo kind of as I thought about this, but these are like everything, you know, this is typically what my friends and I would give each other, what my parents and I would, exchange this is like kind of a more normal price point little fun gifts combination of like wouldn't buy for themselves everyday splurges you know but okay let's start number 54 the aritzia Definity bodysuit this girl is trending if you can get your hands on this for the 16 to 35 year old <laughs> in your life especially Canadian, Aritzia Sest Gal, a home run. But I have to say the TNA Rhythm bodysuit is actually, in my opinion, better and more flattering. But like the Divinity bodysuit is the moment. So like, maybe just go with that. Phone cases are also always a good option. Mine is absolutely, my phone case is destroyed. And so everybody's been telling me to just get a new phone case for Christmas and I refuse because my phone is off contract at the end of the year and I wanna buy a new one, so it is what it is. Okay, I'm gonna say UGG Ultra Minis, UGG Minis, UGG Tasmans, that whole trending UGG situation. Such a fun surprise for somebody to get under the tree, especially if you know you have like maybe like a high schooler, young, like university aged kid, and they're super into it but haven't had the time or the resources to get their hands on it. That's super fun, I think. At 30, 58, a 437 swimwear set. These are a little bit more higher end, but they're super cute, super luxe and they just make really good swimwear, especially if you guys are about to go somewhere on vacation afterwards. It does make a fun gift for that. Aesop, Aesop soap, especially if you're going like for, uh, going to like a Christmas party and you're looking for a Christmas gift, hostess gift combination, something like that. Um, High-end soap is of course 10 out of 10 and just it's such a beautiful gift and you know, the person who you're, who's receiving it is going to, every time they wash their hands, think about how you shelled out for some bougie ass soap for them. So I love it. Love that for you, love that for them. Next is anything from Necessaire, especially their like the sets that you can get where it's like kind of everything. If somebody is really into like their self care, their nightly rituals, their morning rituals, you know, body care, skin care, that sort of stuff. Necessaire just makes really beautiful products. They're also really trendy if they are uh, into that content creation lifestyle. And, you know, they just, they are truly like really good products. I've gifted my mom the moisturizer serum set before and she has really loved it. And it just is like a very quick, good, no brainer set. And there's so many different scents but you know, with scent, it's so personal, so you can always get fragrance free with them, which I love. Next is the Merit Beauty Holiday Set. I have a link down below where if you shop through that link, I do receive some affiliate commission, but it doesn't impact your purchase at all. But if you shop Merit Beauty through my link, you can help a girl out. The holiday set looks amazing. It has the mini, uh, serum that i just did the campaign for and then it's got i think lipstick and blush but everything from merit i've tried and used have been phenomenal can't recommend enough i would just honestly say like anything from merit like their lip oils their blush the serum if you know the person's foundation color the brush everything from merit makes a really great gift and the packaging is so stunning as well it's really beautiful, really substantial, and makes a good like unwrapping moment. And then also in that kind of vein, any of the Sephora holiday sets, 
Again, these are great if you don't really know the person's fragrance preference or like lip color preference or skincare preference. If you get a set with a bunch of different options, it allows them to explore, but it, it, you'll also likely hit something that they already like and use or are interested in. Next, the Dior Lip Oil, 10 out of 10. Such an amazing product, really beautiful, again, trendy, but there has there's so much wow factor unwrapping luxury beauty. And if you're looking for something like little, but a little bit more luxe, any Dior product like that is awesome. In the lip product category as well, Summer Friday's Lip Balm, they have four colors, I think, but there's also a little set. They make just great items and they are really good. And if you're looking especially for stocking stuffers and you get like the set, the little ones make great little stocking stuffers and you can kind of divvy them out based on whoever's uh, color preferences match what. Next, we have Bala Bengal ankle weights, anything from them. Just like more high-end aesthetic workout kit, I guess, like weights and stuff like that. But if you know somebody who does a lot of Pilates or works out at home a lot, this is a really fun and easy way to elevate their kit. And it's just kind of beautiful. Again, in that same theme, a, Lulu, a Lululemon yoga mat. One of the creme de la cremes of high-end but somewhat accessible yoga kit, but Lululemon just makes great mats. And also they have a really good exchange and return policy. So if you don't get it right with the mat that you pick, the person can always go back and change it for the thickness of mat that more suits them or other Lululemon kit. Then the Dior blush, really beautiful blush. Kind of the same thing as the lip oil. It's just such a luxe packaging that it makes for a lovely experience opening it. It's not too, too expensive, but it's also like nice and small. So if you're just doing little gifts, like if you're doing a like restaurant brunchy holiday gift swap thing, makes for a good, a good gift. Then I have to say the Aritzia Bigfoot fleeces. I am obsessed with mine. Can't recommend it enough. They just make really fun gifts they're really beautiful and again fleeces are trending this year so would recommend that also cov hair clips again if you're looking for more like stocking stuffer little small things the cov hair clips are just cove cov cove they're just really beautiful really high quality and even if the person has really thick hair they work for that they have sizes that are specifically designed for more hair so you can really again customize i have Jerf Avenue blazer and other items. Jerf Avenue is just so popular and they make amazing staples. You can't go wrong with that. Then Agoldi jeans, Agoldi leather pants. Agoldi is definitely a more expensive brand, but if you're looking at picking up some wardrobe staples or some items that you know the person, their gift receiver has been looking at, Agoldi is an amazing option really great quality really good true to size size chart so it makes it easy to kind of match up what size goes with what just like beautiful and has good wow factor for a again in that home wellness self-care girly the vitruvi diffusers make awesome gifts same with the humidifier they're kind of in that 100 to 250 price point so a little bit smaller, we're you know, not super, super expensive, not super, super inexpensive, but they do make just lovely gifts and they make wonderful decor pieces as well. And for the diffuser, you could also get essential oils. And if you know that the person is just really into essential oils, buying some and maybe getting a little bit more higher quality, luxurious ones are a nice way to go and a nice way to upgrade their collection. Then we have, I love this brand. I really want stuff from it, but the Lunia washable silk pajamas. These are a little bit more pricey, but washable silk pajamas are just so luxurious, so beautiful, and definitely a gift that not everybody would think to buy themselves. So it really has good wow factor. Then any cozy knitwear, especially like if you live on the East Coast, like I do. Good knitwear. You know what? I'm, 
I've already ranted enough about knitwear, but you guys know. Then for kind of a fun gift, maybe more of a like fun friend, small er sort of gift. The normal Kamali long gloves are really fun. Um, I love the plaid ones. They're just like really festive. And if in your friend group, you kind of do like unusual, but sort of small gifts, those definitely make a fun and interesting uh, situation. Then I would also put in here the Rag and Bone Addison baseball cap. It's like the fuzzy one. It's just kind of fun. It's festive with the Sherpa, but a baseball cap is kind of a universal thing. They're not as specific as a bucket hat. And with the adjustable back, it makes it easy for sizing, but the fuzziness makes it so holiday appropriate. I love it. It's so cute. Definitely something on my own wish list. Then I have Birkenstocks because they have been super trendy, but Birkenstocks are actually just so practical. And also with that Crocs and Hoka's, Hoka's are running shoes and obviously Crocs are Crocs, but you know, they just make really good, easy gifts, readily available. Erin is like, yeah, cause she literally owns all three of these shoes. <laughs> and they're just, they're so good. And they make honestly really good, like everyday staples. Then we have some basics, mittens, beanies, a padded headband, anything from Missouri, so they're like simple, dainty jewelry. Fun candles are always great, again, for hostess gifts, mother-in-law gifts, maybe for like in-laws, people who you're not super, super close with. Um, but if you get just kind of like a popular scent by like the Velo Spa, like Baltic Amber, or the Capri Blue Volcano scent, I think it is, just like those like very popular, easy to find scents, those are great. Um, puzzles are also a really good gift. I know my boyfriend's family always, they always get a puzzle and they always do it together for Christmas. That's always really fun. I say the replica candles. This is if you know that you're like the person you're giving the gift to wears a specific replica fragrance, and then you can buy them the candle to go with it. And so that their whole personality becomes this one scent. Would recommend. And then, obviously booty bands, skims undies, really easy, good tripod stuff, or sorry, really easy, good stocking stuffers. Then a tripod, if the person in your life is an, is an aspiring content creator, a good tripod is such a valuable asset for them to have. And maybe they haven't gotten around to purchasing one yet. Or if the person is a little bit younger, they might not have the disposable income to spend the money on a tripod. So it's like a good, fun, but useful gift. And you know, if the person is, like when I got a tripod, I was like very stoked about it. So it makes like a very good gift and you can get good tripods that are not super expensive on Amazon or if you just go to like a camera store like Henry's, you can definitely find something that is good in any price point. Then of course, cute Christmas PJs. Gotta love Christmas PJs. Love a good holiday set. Um, okay, <laughs> final stretch here. Okay, 93, Charlotte Tilbury makeup. It's definitely a little bit more expensive. So the person you're gifting it to, this is a great time to buy something that they wouldn't normally buy themselves. I have over the years definitely gifted my friends lots of Charlotte Tilbury because I know that they for a while weren't interested in purchasing it, but I was like, it's beautiful. It makes such a gorgeous gift. Like with the Dior stuff, that packaging is so luxe. It makes such an experience unboxing it. And for anybody who is interested in makeup, Charlotte Tilbury quality is really like the like top tier. So beautiful, so many holy grail products come out of Charlotte Tilbury. And you know, if you think like Pillow Talk lipstick, lip liner, her magic cream, any of her eyeshadow quads, like just such beautiful products that everybody loves. Okay, number 94, socks. Number 95, any dainty jewelry. I did mention Missouri earlier, but you know, there are other brands out there and uh, you know, you can take your friends to go all get matching welded bracelets or do that with your boyfriend or whatever, but just any kind of dainty jewelry is great. 
And then I've got books. Books are always good. Um, I know I was like kind of chirping paper books, but like if you're giving somebody a paper book, it's kind of good, especially because you can get them like the nice, beautiful, hard copies. And then finally, gift cards. I definitely think I repeated a few things at the bottom here, so I'm not gonna make you suffer through uh, essential oils and skims underwears for the second time. So yeah, we're ending it at gift cards because gift cards are truly the last resort. If you have no idea what to get somebody, just get them a gift card. Get them an Aritzia gift card. You'll be good. <laughs> But that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this gift guide. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Everything is going to be linked down below. They are affiliate links, so I do make a small commission off of any sale made using my link, but that doesn't impact you in any way. It just helps me make this channel more sustainable and bring you more content like this. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 7.